Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Got my coffee. I have an eye full of the leaves changing, which I cannot complain about, nor can I complain about the beautiful, nearly perfect weather that is being bestowed upon me here in Indiana. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel, and it's the last day for a while where I will be hanging out at my sister's tomorrow morning. I am moving on, carrying on, hitting the open road. First thing, manana. That means tomorrow, I think. It's the Daily Woo. <coughs> what? <coughs> you want? You want? You want, you want to play catch? You want to play catch? Right outside this church, next to the parking lot, is a playground area where they have recreated Noah's Ark. Back when I was a child and went to church, our playground area was not as cool as this. I wonder if the children of the congregation are only allowed to go in there two by two. You think when it rains, the pastor says, get off the playground, get inside. <laughs> or if they just let them roam around the ark. I'm sure they're pretty safe. Next to this Mexican meat market is a place called El Taco Express. Starting off with some delicious chips and you don't dip it in the salsa. You squirt it out of the top of these like ketchup containers. I've never been into the heart of Mexico. The only time I've been to Mexico is Tijuana, which is right up there on the corner as you go out of San Diego south and you cross over in the border. And then I've also been to El Paso, which is right there. And when you go to El Paso, your cell phone continually tries to go into a different mode because it thinks you are not in the U.S. anymore. One place I really want to visit is in the very far corner down on the bottom near Guatemala. It's called Belize. It's located right there. One day I'll get there. It's like you're reenacting some kind of like commercial where they sprinkle the lime and lemon on stuff. So good. <laughs> you got the steak tacos and I have followed your lead and got the exact same thing. Safe to say, I enjoyed them. I cleaned my plate. And so did you. And you stole all my limes. So good. I was wondering what happened to my limes. It's a very patriotic yard in the town square here in Marion, Indiana. The birthplace of three different famous people. Jim Davis, James Dean, and Cole Porter. On this site stood the Seven Gables where James Dean, one of the most charismatic and idolized movie actors of all time, was born. And there's even a little star right here. He's the only one along the sidewalk. But that's it. About three or four years ago, I visited this spot. And since then, they have erected a memorial to him as well. There's the iconic photo of him in front of the ranch from the movie Giant. And right over there is the new memorial. It's amazing how famous and iconic someone can become from just starring in three films. And James Dean died on the West Coast in California. He was only 24 years old, but his life started on this spot right here. The home that once sat here used to look just like that. And people pay their respects by bringing flowers and change and putting it at the base of the memorial. It says here that he was born at 2 a.m in unit A of an apartment building. So is this home? Was that an apartment? It does say apartment house. So I guess that is, that is the home.
you're looking more at that mural, I think that is just famous people from Indiana, not necessarily this town. We're going under the train. We got pretty lucky instead of waiting for the stop train and a traffic light, we just drove underneath it. I'm not really sure why, but this sign has highlighted and put the word don't in quotations. We quote, don't, unquote, except SNAP or EBT. Filling the rental car up. My sister is washing the window. Since you were washing the window, I got you a treat. Oh, this is a Reese's Big Cup. They just added the Reese's Pieces inside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I have purchased a Crystal Pepsi. It's always cool to have these throwback items. Kind of makes you feel a little nostalgic. They took something unbelievably incredible and made it even better. It's an old farmhouse. And on the side of the barn is a cool old cross. And James Dean was not the only one who lived in this area. Down this road was the boyhood home of Jim Davis, the creator of that crazy cat Garfield on this 50 acre farm. 50 cats used to run around the property. I think that's where he got the idea for Garfield. And there is a beware of dog sign and I don't think we're allowed to go any farther, but that's the house right there where Jim Davis grew up. What was the dog's name from Garfield? Odie. You think they should say beware of Odie? Yeah. That would, that would really scare me a lot. But Odie wasn't really a mean dog. He was kind of goofy and dumb. Yeah. And then there was Nermal, yeah. who was like another cat. I'd be more scared of Nermal. He was a boy. You thought he was a girl, but he was a boy. Nermal was a boy? I think so. And originally, Jim Davis drew a cartoon based on a gnat for three or four years and never really took off. And then he got the idea of changing the gnat cartoon to a cat. And hence we have what is known as that pesky feline Garfield. I just realized we both grew up on Garfield. We both love taking naps and we both love lasagna. This is like hollowed ground for us. This is my Graceland, sir. It is pretty interesting seeing these fields, acres and acres and miles and miles of freshly harvested corn. It's all just dirt. Next plant would be soybeans, right? Would yeah. it be soybeans? Mm -hmm. So they plant corn in one spot and then the following season it's soybean. They mix it up to keep the ground, I guess, fertile for the next crop in front of the American Legion building. Some planes and helicopters. And also a tank right here by the railroad tracks. I've stopped off at the statue a couple times before, but I always find it interesting that there are two of those. The sculptor made two of the busts of James Dean. One in California at Griffith Observatory, which I was just at less than two weeks ago, and one right here in Fairmount, Indiana. Always interesting to go back and forth and check both of them out. This guy blowing the leaves right here reminds me of a story my dad once told me. I don't know if it's true or not, but he said when he was young, there were some people who had their driver's license and they had a vehicle, a car. They would drive around and they would run up on the curves through the leaf piles that people have accumulated for trash day. And there was this one old man in the neighborhood who wanted to get back at those rascally youngsters and he piled his leaves over the top of a fire hydrant. And according to my dad, don't know if it's true or not, the kids came through the neighborhood, tried to mow down the leaves, <laughs> and the rest is history. Spouting water in the air. Makes for a pretty good story. I don't know. You know dad pretty well. You think that story's true or not? I think it's totally true. 100% true. Check out this tree. There's two trees split completely down the middle on either side of the power lines. You don't see that every day. Super weird looking. There's this closed down convenience store here on the side of the road 
And what fascinates me the most about these is they have an old Coca-Cola machine, an old Pepsi machine, and an old school Mountain Dew with the old logo machine. You don't see that too much anymore. Pretty neat. What is it? What is it? What's out there? What's out there? What's out there, Pippi? What is it? What is it? Who's out there? Who's it? Who is it? Pippi. Get it, Pippi! <laughs>